In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a simple square drive socket. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK. If you're new to Blender just simply press X on your keyboard and then left click on delete. Some of the shortcuts I shall be using will show up down here. Now, Hold down shift followed by A and then next to mesh left click on circle. Come to the bottom left of the screen and left click on the little arrow next to add circle. And in the vertices box where it says 32 left click and type in 24 and hit return. Now press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top view. You can also close this down by left clicking on the little arrow if you want. So that's 7 on the numbers pad to go into top view. And then roll your middle mouse to zoom in so you've got a reasonable view of this circle. Now press tab to go into edit mode. Now we want to select each of these vertices but each, not, not each, every other vertices. So I'm going to just left click on this one here and then hold down shift, left click on this one, just go around the circle selecting every other vertices with my shift button held down. Now some of the um, changes I'm going to make will show up here in the top left hand side of the screen because I'm basically winging this so I haven't got any set figures so keep an eye at the top of this screen here top left. Now we're going to inset these vertices and the one basically you have to try and imagine you've got a square here that's got to be um, this socket's got to um, grab so some of the edges will be vertical and some of them will need to be horizontal so let's inset these vertices and to do that you just simply press S on your keyboard and then move your mouse carefully until at the top left hand side doesn't have to be 100% accurate but you've got something showing point zero point nine zero zero or thereabouts because like I said it can be point eight nine doesn't have to be a hundred percent accurate once you're happy left click to accept now press A on your keyboard to select everything now we're going to extrude these faces or these vertices and faces or edges out so you'll need to press E and S now it won't show up on the keycast so that's S for sugar and then drag your mouse so it comes out. Now I'm going to set this at about 1.3 I don't know, it's good for about 1.3536 something like that and then left click. So that's E followed by S and then move your mouse because it will come into the middle you'll have to move your mouse so it comes out. Now with this um, outer ring of vertices still selected right click and then left click on subdivide come to the bottom of the screen where it says subdivide left click on the little arrow and place your pointer in the number of cuts yeah, where it says 1 hold down your left mouse and drag it up to 10 and then close this down Place your pointer over the mesh button and left click and then next to transform left click on to sphere and then move your mouse so the outer edge becomes round then left click. Then the next thing we're going to do is because we want to have a square um, end on this as well as this um, shape for uh, whatever they call it for grabbing the nut if you like we need to select this uh, 
ring of vertices. So first of all deselect everything by pressing Alt followed by A and then left click on one of the inner vertices, hold down shift and left click on one next to it. Come up to select at the top of the screen, left click on this and then next to select loops, left click edge loops. Now you just press F on your keyboard, F for Freddy and that will fill this. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is create a square. So what I'm going to do is come over to the left of the screen and left click on knife. So what we're going to do is literally this point here where you've got this straight horizontal, sorry, vertical line. Left click on the vertices and it didn't knife cut. Why was that? Sorry, we'll do that again. Make sure this knife cut is selected. Place your pointer over the vertex. Hold down your left mouse button and then drag your knife so it snaps in the opposite on the opposite one. Then come on down and again and left click and again left click and at the top left click and then hit return. Left click on this one here at the top, part of this straight edge here, and then bring this down so that it lines up with the opposite one. And basically you're going to do exactly the same in this direction. And then hit return and you should have a square in the middle. Now press A on your keyboard to select everything and then one on your numbers pad to go into front view. Roll your middle mouse out so that you get a better view of the larger squares and also hold down shift and your middle mouse button and then drag your view down so you've got plenty of space above this circle. Now place your pointer over the blue line and then hit E on your keyboard, E for Edward, and then move your mouse to extrude this up about two larger squares or two on your uh, the top left hand side. Again, doesn't have to be 100% accurate and left click. your pointer is still over the blue line, hit E, again for extrude, drag this up about half a large square or 0.5 and left click. Now press S for sugar, move your mouse and drag this in. So I'm going to make this point about 0.6, like I said I'm winging this one. And finally, again with your pointer over the blue arrow, hit a uh, blue line, sorry, hit E, and then just drag this up, I don't know, about 1.5, something like that. Press 7 on your numbers pad, and roll your ma middle mouse to zoom in a bit. And then to the left of the screen, you can just left click on the face select. This is a box with a highlighted square on it. Down Alt followed by A to deselect everything. And then press C on your keyboard to bring up a circular select. Roll your mouse so it sort of covers the box or the square in the middle and left click. Then roll your middle mouse to reduce this in size and just select any missing faces so that you've got this what is effectively going to be the middle of your socket. Right click to um, select or rather to remove the circular select and then press 1 on your keyboard. 
roll your middle mouse to zoom out and then press Z and left click on wireframe view place your pointer over the blue uh, line again and then press E for extrude and drag your selected faces down about 1.4, 1 1.45 and I'll do 1.464 I've gone and then left click press Z again and just left click on solid and then hold down your middle mouse button and move your view to make sure everything's worked and that's looking good okay hold down control followed by 7 and this will take you into bottom view make sure that everything is deselected by holding down alt followed by A and as we did before or actually to be honest with you you can just left click on the middle face if you don't want mind you you've got the uh, knife selected here so sorry my fault make sure you've got the select button up here um, selected and then just left click on the inner square and again press 7 on your numbers pad sorry 1 on your numbers pad followed by Z and go back into wireframe and then with your pointer over the blue line press E and drag your square up about one square or about minus one again doesn't have to be 100% accurate press Z again and left click on solid and you should find now that you've got a very simple um, socket and that's all there is to it really I'm not going to go into rendering because it'll make this tutorial too small if somebody wants to know how I created the effect at the beginning of this tutorial I'll happily go through it with you um, thank you for watching cheers